Hello. In the previous video, we had seen how to create the role, set the permissions, and add the users and assign them the roles. Now, here we are going to see that whatever roles we created and the roles which we assigned to the users, whether they are working or not. So, in this particular one, I am already logged in as the administrator. So, now I will open a private window over here. Right? And here, let's go to the login page for Drupal. So here, the login is showing up over here only. So AUTHR, let's log in as author. Okay. So now I'm logged in as author. So we have given the permission to the author to add content. Now here, I am getting this content also in the toolbar content overview or add content. If I click on add content, what it is going to do is it's going to show me the type of contents which I am allowed to add. Okay. Now, if it would have been only one type, then it would directly open a page for adding that content. Means it won't show me article or book in. It will just directly maybe it's, let's say suppose article is the only content type that was allowed. So as soon as I would say add content, it will show me create article. Anyways, so now I can create an article or create a book info type content, which is being allowed to me. The other thing that we gave permission was to the content overview section. So when I click on this content overview section, this is showing up over here. Fine. Now here. I can see all the contents, but no operations are allowed to be because if you remember, we had given the permission to edit our own content. This content is authored by the person called as Dexter over here. Okay. So <coughs> here also I have add content link. So I'll click on this and let's add an article over here. Let's call it Drupal. permissions okay i won't add any image i will just say this talks about roles and group i'll give it a tag let us say drupal if the tag is existing it will show up permissions and let's add a tag, let's say fruit, fine. fruit considered as good, just for fun, fine. We had also given that revision and all. Now here mm -hmm. you will notice I don't have any other access of creating the URL or whether it is published or not and all. So we will just save this and see what happens. Okay. So here this is saved, Drupal permission article has been created. And if we go to the content overview page, we will see that Drupal permission article created by the user author, right? This may be a bit confusing, but keep in mind, this is the ID of that user and status is published. And you can now see I'm getting an option to edit this. Now, very interestingly, this article got published directly. So what has to be done about this? I will discuss a bit later. But now we can see that as the permissions which we had said, as the user author, I can create article or book info. So I'm not going to create book info because I know that it is going to work. Fine. <coughs> now I will log out of this and then we will log in as the user, which is editor. Fine. Okay, so now we are logged in as the user editor. Let us go to the same permissions are there of add content, article, book info, and let's go to the content overview page. Here we can see Drupal permissions, article, author, by the user author. And now here, as you remember, for the editor, we had given permissions to edit any content, right? Or manage any of the content. So even if the contents are by others, I am getting all the uh, things like edit and delete. 
So edit basically I can change the content or delete I can change the content. And if you remember we had done this only for the content type article and book info. So wherever the basic pages are there, they, there I am not getting any kind of functionality to do any changes. Very interestingly, you could do something like uh, using a checkbox here, fine. A checkbox, and we can try to say delete content from here, apply to selected, but this will not work, fine. You, it will give you an error message, so you don't need to worry about it. Now here, what we want to see is the article that was published by author. Can we edit it? Yes, we can edit it as an author. So here there is no summary. Let's add a summary. We'll just copy paste the same thing over here. Add a summary. And what we notice is that this particular tag which the user has added is not useful for this. So we will remove that tag and we will save this. Okay. Now here as an editor and author, we we have seen that the permission set which we had given is working. But the only thing that has happened over here is that the article which author created got published immediately, which we did not want. Now, if you really want a complete set of things, there are different kind of uh, modules and setups available for this, where you would want to use them for a proper workflow or something. They are some are called as workflow, some are called as workbench for just for our understanding what we need to do over here to control this because the publish option and other things when we are working as the administrator fine let us say i go to content fine and if i go to let us say learning drupal and edit this what happens is we get this particular section fine menu settings url alias authoring information and all now we we were not able to set the url alias for that we could not set the menu and we could not change the authoring information and even the promoted portion these things were uh, not available fine okay and even the published or unpublished option was not coming up now this actually is controlled by certain permissions which are there fine so the url alias if we want that our author and editor should be able to do is we can enable it from here let's say the url alias setting let's find that out Okay, create and edit URL alias. So let's give this permission and let's save this and see what access the author or the editor gets. Fine. So now I'll switch to the editors, this thing, and let's try to edit this. Fine. So here now we have an option for URL alias. So let's set this C CMS and let us call it. Pru pl drupal so one thing we have been able to do fine now the next thing that we want is that we should be able to control this published or unpublished status but unfortunately there is no straightforward way of doing this and the mechanism to do this is basically giving control of the settings of the node that is administer content fine promote change ownership edit revision perform all the other tasks across all content types fine so if we give this to a particular person then they will be able to do all these kind of changes so for the time being just for understanding how this is working i will enable this for the editor and not for the author fine and let's save this. Okay, so now let us edit this. 
and let us see what functionality we have got. We have got all the functionality that usually the admin is getting. So uh, the safe part is that we know that the content access is limited to the particular types. Fine. So the will be only able to edit articles and book info, but will have all the access over managing the URL alias. Even the authoring information can be changed by the editor now. Fine. You can change the ownership of this promoted options, promoted to front page and all published option, everything this editor has got now. 